The deep web, it's part of the world wide web that's not accessible to search engines. And for good reason. Things occur there that would make your skin crawl. Stories of illegal and depraved things that are so vile that they will keep you up at night. The following are just such stories. Here are 10 horror stories from the deep web. Number 10 is no one there. The most common method to access the deep web is a browser called Tor. The browser provides some level of security by protecting your identity as you search through the pages of the deep web. But can you really trust the technology? Reddit user OneSensFan had just downloaded and installed the Tor browser for the first time when, after 20 minutes of browsing, his phone rang. He answered to find no one on the other end. 10 seconds later, the line went dead. Similar strange events like this have happened to a number of Tor users, each of which received odd calls or messages after using the browser for the first time. Amateurs are advised to not try to access the deep web, not just because you may be watched, but also because of the horrors that await you. Number nine is you better start running. Much like the old I'm feeling lucky option that Google used to offer, some search engines on the deep web provide a similar option, though with much more off-putting results. One Reddit user calling himself neverlurking77 had the scare of his life when he hit the random button on a deep web search box and was greeted with a slow loading page. After patiently waiting several minutes for the page to load, he was shocked by the sudden appearance of the words, you better start running. Similar experiences have been reported by other people that have seen messages such as, we can see you and you're about to die, in addition to much more gruesome and horrifying threats. However, as scary as that might be, it's quite a mild story compared to what else is out there. Number eight is somebody is watching. Casually browsing the deep web is not recommended, not only because you're likely to stumble upon some disturbing things, but also because if you follow the wrong link or end up on the wrong page, it can open your computer to hackers. Shashank Tiwari, a computer science student in Kanpur, India, found out just how scary that can be after spending a day poking around in some deep web chat rooms. For several days after, he spotted an LED indicator on his laptop lighting up every time that he connected to the internet. He soon realized that this was his webcam being accessed remotely. He attempted to remove the Tor browser that he had been using, but it kept happening until he finally reinstalled Windows to make it stop. But by then, the damage had already been done because not only had the hacker been watching him sleep, but he had been watching him in his most intimate moments. Do you have a device with a camera in it? Consider that next time you surf the web. Number seven is how to serve women. College and university students are among the most frequent users of the deep web, mainly because they're looking for updated and unique sources of information for projects. Often these searches are done in the classroom, and one Reddit user named Bacon Boy Loiter, a computer science major, found himself physically surrounded by friendly peers while mentally scarred by what he discovered online. What he discovered were recipes for cooking women. The deep web page that he had studied stumbled upon contained detailed information on what parts of the body should be used for specific recipes. Not only that, but also suggestions on how to properly prepare each cut and even best practices for keeping the woman alive for as long as possible during the process. The scariest thing is that nobody knows who owns the page or where it's located. 
Number six is drug raid on a frat house. Sometimes, just living with someone who uses the deep web can land you in a lot of trouble. According to Reddit user Self-Aware Aimbot, members of his fraternity house had been discussing using the deep web to purchase small amounts of weed, thinking that they could get a discount. However, not long after, he found himself being marched into a parking lot at gunpoint by members of Homeland Security. They'd conducted a raid on the house after one of the frat brothers allegedly ordered more than $5,000 of LSD and MDMA. The incident led to four arrests, felony drug trafficking charges, and school suspensions for the suspected involvement in the crimes. In the aftermath, the fraternity charter was revoked, and even those brothers who were not involved ended up losing everything. Number five is everybody has a price. Online shopping is of course now the norm, as it's possible to buy just about anything with the tap of your finger. However, you can also head over to the deep web, but be prepared to be disturbed by what you find. That's exactly what happened to Reddit user I am a shark fin when they stumbled upon a website offering services from a person with a unique set of skills, specifically murder. The site allowed you to use Bitcoin an anonymous and largely untraceable online currency in order to hire a hitman who would take care of your problems swiftly and efficiently. However, the most horrifying part was that the prices were listed from lowest to highest and included civilians, police, politicians, and even children. Number four are photos of yourself. Imagine going about your daily tasks, then coming home and finding a photo of yourself online taken that very day. That's exactly what happened to one unnamed individual who had spent some time that same day browsing the deep web, simply checking out some of his favorite sites before stepping away from his PC to grab a bite to eat at a local burger restaurant. When he returned to his computer, he was shocked and terrified to find that not only had someone presumably been watching his activities on the deep web, but they had followed him to the restaurant and secretly taken photos of him. What's even more unsettling was that the person who took the photo may have actually followed him home or had been planning something much more sinister later. Number three is Sad Satan. On June 15, 2015, a YouTube channel called Obscure Horror Corner began to publish video playthroughs of a PC game called Sad Satan. In the game, the user walked down a hallway while hearing clips from interviews with various murderers. The channel owner explained that the game had been downloaded from the deep web after he received a tip from a subscriber. Later, a user calling himself ZX, claiming to be the game's designer, released a new, vastly different version of the game, which contained violent and disturbing images. Users who installed the game found that it caused their computers to run sluggishly, and some even claimed that it caused lasting damage. To this day, the true origins of the game are still unknown. Number two is identity theft. In 2015, after Oritro Ahmed was hired to do some work on a friend's webpage, he noticed that a new administrator account had been added to it. He asked the site's owner about it and learned that she had recently downloaded a file from the deep web that appeared to be harmless advertising. However, what happened next was completely shocking. The site owner discovered that her personal email and her social media accounts had been hacked 
as well as $1,200 had been dispersed from her PayPal account. But that wasn't all, as her online banking account was targeted, resulting in the loss of over $2,000. Even months after she thought everything was resolved, the hackers attempted to blackmail her using stolen photos of her and her boyfriend. The ordeal was so horrible for her, she even attempted to take her own life. And number one is Daisy's destruction. By far, the most horrific story has to be the true story of Peter Scully, an Australian man who produced a multi-part video series in 2012 called Daisy's Destruction. It was sold to various clients on the deep web, often going for as much as $10,000. The series featured Scully and some accomplices torturing and doing some horrific things to people. Scully was arrested in the Philippines on February 20th, 2015, and since then the investigation has turned up other disturbing videos including one of Scully himself committing murder. Unfortunately, much of the evidence against him was destroyed in a very suspicious fire, possibly by a corrupt official. Scully faced a total of 75 charges for his crimes, but as for his individuals, they have not found any justice as of yet. Hopefully, this video was reason enough for you to avoid going to the deep web. However, if you do venture there, be prepared. You will encounter unexpected and horrific things. All that I can say is good luck.